on him. Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I've been doing this for 20 years. I've never handled a fish that big. What is up, MFers? So excited to show you guys today's video. We're gonna have cast to catch footage of the biggest bass caught in the state of Texas in 22 years. It was the most epic fish caught in the most epic fishing trip of my entire life. Thank you guys so much for watching all these videos, commenting. I can't even describe hardly what went down, but we're going to try to. I'm going to give you a synopsis of some of the baits, the exact methods, and how exactly we made all these fish catches happen. When we're in the moment down there in Texas, we didn't get to talk about it as much as I wanted to. And not only that, I have footage for you guys of what happened after we left that trip. Another lake record and two more share lunkers. Absolutely unbelievable footage. And then Right back behind the camera here, there's a little bit of a surprise for you guys, too. So stay tuned for that, and uh, let's jump into this video. Yeah, this is it. This is it, maybe. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this might be our 50 pound limit, Dark. I can't see. I'm gonna go with this probably a three pounder. It doesn't feel as big as it did, but I can't free move it. Come on! It's gotta be bigger than a. Oof. It's I pulling the right way. Hand right under it. <laughs> He's gotta be bigger than uh, 715. Getting our limit. He's fighting the right way. Don't hit the trolling motor, Cole. There's a bowling ball on the end of there. God dang, no kidding. He's giant. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, the Sherlocker did! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Dude! Oh my god! Zark! That's the. <laughs> Fish dreams are made of right there, oh boys. My God. Judas, it multiple hooks out. Oh. Hold on, I got the scale over here, <laughs> dude. <Yeah. laughs> dude. That's a 13. That's a 14 or 15. <laughs> that that <laughs> 12 pounder. Are you kidding? Look at the eyeballs. Look at that. Look at his eyeballs. Look at his eyeballs. <laughs> Oh, I can't breathe. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Look how uh, big that is. It's bigger than you, Joe. <laughs> dude. Hold that out. That's the, the biggest game. bass I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 I'm seriously about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> he won't even fit on this. I'm gonna have to grab him somewhere else. <laughs> Here, get, get his lip so it's I can get the middle part of it. <laughs> He's so big. He's like three foot long. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh! 15 8. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> second with two hands. I'm gonna reweigh it. Dude, you don't have to. <laughs> it's like, Dude, we gotta call the game in parks or something. We don't have service. We have to go to the ramp now though. Have to. <laughs> what? Oh. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Give me that! Please quit. 
Yes, it was on! <laughs> There's 16 there you four. Go. Do we need like a... Can we lock it in? Sixteen pounds. No, that that's gonna be it right there. If that's what. They yeah, but do I do we need like the whole fish in the picture and stuff? Yeah, that's it. Y'all have broken. Two thousand ten. Yeah, that was the lake records. You just get that down in the water without yep. hitting fish. Just kind of swirl it slowly. No, we're in good shape. I'm at I'm at seven five. Do's good. Okay. pH is, I'm at 8.1, he's at 7.7, 7, so that's not a problem. We're maybe a, a degree C and a quarter off. That's that, fine. That's, that's easy good. money. Yep, thank you very much. Okay, you can cover her back up. Take your picture, I'll get out of my shadow out of your way. That's a freak. All right. They just don't make bags that big, do they? Oh, yeah. Scale's ready, pull her out, put her on a scale. Yeah, she just flipped her jaw. Yeah, I have her at 15.66. Nice. Alright, put her back in the bag. And we'll start taking care of her. Thank you very much. That's all right, they'll still dissolve. Just cold. A, this is a Florida bass. They <laughs> they don't like this at all. That's an amazing fish. And then uh, then they'll keep it on salt. Yeah, I'm glad we brought it too, just because she has a chance to live now. So at some point, then we'll she'll be transported probably early early uh, this week or next week. Cool. We're transported to Athens to the she'll go into Lanka Bunker. Yeah. I gotta do this for two hours anyway. I just gotta do another quick calculation of the difference in 16 to 20 inch strike for KCL. No big deal, I got one. years i never handled a fish that big if i hadn't seen the fish and i wouldn't have believed you it was as cold as it is i would think those fish would just be on the bottom doing nothing oh yeah they probably were for three or four days but they were a little well, more active yeah, yeah i just so, yeah. just the, at that temperature even being even eating at all yeah I mean, you just, gotta eat sometimes <laughs> i think we're done if you all guys right, let's do it. want to find out of here we gotta drive a, to do yeah we'll sleep eat. when we're dead <laughs> let's go fishing we gotta fish in the morning <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm like itching. Well, good luck. Touch some mats. Thanks a lot. You want, don't have to worry about guys. the alligators down there. They're pretty cold right now. Yeah, but they are. Pretty slow. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to catch us. That's deserving of a brewski here on a Friday. Lagunitas Hazy Wonder. 
So good. All right, so Zark's fish, biggest fish caught in Texas since 1999. We took it to the Sherlunker facility, to the guy that had been working there for 20 years. All he does is handle those giant bass. It was the biggest bass he's ever seen since working there, which is mind-blowing because obviously Texas has incredible fishing. Um, you can't really put into words how big that fish was. Cole said it multiple times now that when you watch the footage uh, of the catch, you don't realize how big it is. And when he saw me and Zark holding the fish right by him behind the camera, it was like, obviously it's a giant, but it didn't really wrap his head around it until he actually was able to hold the fish himself. A 16 pound bass is so unbelievably incredibly rare. A 10 pound bass is incredibly rare. So um, it wasn't even like a fish of a lifetime. How many people do you know that have caught 16 pounders? Probably one, it was a damn wizard. And so uh, it was like a fish of a thousand lifetimes, unbelievable. And not to be outdone, the next day we went out there, we absolutely railed on the bass. I threw this uh, this this A rig, of course, because that's what we were throwing with these divine swim baits. I'll talk about those in a little bit. They're obviously a little bit mangled. Threw this exact one the entire day. Probably caught 50 or 60 bass on that rig right there. So me and Zark and Cole had to get on the road. We left about four o'clock from there. Uh, 16 hour drive. Zark barely made it back for work at nine o'clock the next morning. Um, so we did some driving and traveling, but this next day they went out the Sixth Sense crew. Um, Brett Cannon, who's the media director for Sixth Sense, his father, Zach Kynart, who is the social media and sales manager. Uh, we're on one boat. And then Casey Sobzak, the president, of course, of Sixth Sense, and Kevin Baxter, Luke Duncan, and Darian Craig were there. They all went out the next day. And about halfway into the day, this catch right here happened by Brett Cannon on his boat. Brett, this is a giant. Oh, my God. God, what a fish. Dude, that's a DD. Oh my Brent. God. Brent, Holy how fucking. God. Dude. Oh Let's my go. God. Oh, 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 oh my oh God. My God. Whoa. I'm shaking. You got to be kidding me. Oh my God. Look at that thing. <gasps> <laughs> Let's go. Dude, baby. Yes. Oh my God. It's bigger than my leg. God, on the guys. outside of the mouth. Damn. Hey, divine swim bait right there. Oh my God. Dude, that's guys. That, dude, that's guys. <laughs> what a fish. I don't have any fish. I don't have my phone with me. Oh. All right. Four. Wow. What <laughs> a beast. Wow. That deserved another drink of beer. Cheers to you, Mr. Brett Cannon. That was a 14.4 pound Sherlunker bass. It was the second biggest bass caught on the lake um, in a lot of years. And obviously one of the biggest bass anyone's ever seen. Biggest bass of his life. Um, an absolutely incredible fish. So not to be outdone, um, Brett talked to Casey and he's like, there's there's more big fish in that area. Go check it out. So Casey rolls over in his boat to a spot, and this proceeded to happen. That's a butt. It's a giant. Record. That's the lake record. Pull it. Watch out. Pull it closer. Holy cow, that might be the lake record. Oh my god. Zach. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good?
14 too. We're gonna get her in the water. Here's your phone. I mean, cheers to Casey too. A 14.2 pound share lunker in the same day. But if you guys are fishermen and you know how the Six Sense crew does, we don't just like peace out and go have beers and roll out and, and leave any daylight left after we had a good day of fishing. No, Casey and Zach and Brett and, and everyone else, Kevin Baxter and everyone goes back out fishing some more. And right after that, this happens in Casey and Zach's boat right here. So they didn't actually go certify that fish, but it was in fact a smallmouth by Zach. It weighed 7.4 pounds. It was the lake record smallmouth, the fifth biggest smallmouth caught in Texas history. Unbelievable. Cheers all around to the Sixth Sense crew. Crazy that I'm finally telling you guys this. We've been home now for like a week and a half by the time we got all these videos edited and, and put out to you guys in as good of a manner as we could. And I feel like I've been on every podcast and, and kind of just gone through and told this story a million times. Talked to in fishermen, talked to field and stream, Bassmaster, Wired to Fish, all these different awesome online fishing publications. So it's been an amazing time. Obviously, I, I appreciate when, when you guys watch these videos and appreciate the fishing too. Um, but let's talk about the fishing a little bit really quick. There was a couple common denominators um, with what we were doing. The biggest one was Garmin Panoptics, being able to actually see these fish on screen and I would honestly I'll be completely straightforward with you guys it's such a game changer um, that I don't want a lot of people to be able to go out and do this um, exactly how we are like I can literally show you what has cost me thousands and thousands of hours in dollars and time on the water and cut the learning curve immediately but what's the fun in that you guys are already a lot of you haters are already saying that's cheating anyways so because I'd like to win a lot more money on it and kind of have it to myself a little bit. I've already shown you guys a ton of stuff in the past as far as showing screen recordings and what it looks like, um, but it's a game changer. I'm gonna link it below. If you guys would hit the link, if you wanna catch fish like that, I would strongly suggest picking up some pan optics. And if you hit the link below and get it there, it's the cheapest price I've found and it will help out my channel as well. But there'll be a lot more Garmin pan optics stuff in the future, me showing you guys some stuff and, and I'll try and drop some more subtle nuggets along the way. So stay tuned for future videos. Biggest keys for me, um, I threw the single swim bait and the Alabama rig, this Sixth Sense Divine swim bait, which we've, we've added a lot of new colors to this bait series um, the last year or so. And the new colors are absolutely fire. They're the best colors I've ever used in these soft paddle tail swim baits. And as you guys can see, that right there probably looks like a shitty product um, that's falling apart. But what that is right there is probably over the course of two days using this exact same rig, I bet this is a hundred fish catches on this one rig. In that six cents head, the jig head that we're using on there, not only has an amazing high quality hook, nice short shank hook that's not gonna flex out on you, and very, very lifelike, of course, but the screw lock keeper will save you guys so much money in plastics. The swim baits obviously catch fish. I was using the three eighths um, on the hooked versions and then I ran a couple teasers up top. You didn't have to in Texas, but I ran teasers just because it made the whole thing lighter. Um, fish is more fluently through the water. I feel like when you pulse it, it makes the whole thing collapse and, and expand and stuff like that, like an actual school bait fish does, which is why you see us constantly, you know, we'll do a, we'll be reeling along and then it'll be a quick half turn of the reel handle, um, just like throwing a swim bait. Just picked up this swim bait right here. I'm excited to fish it like that. Um, but anyways, um, that's why we were fishing that the way we were. Basically, we were throwing it, as I told you guys, 20 to 40 feet of water over the top of some submerged bushes. Um, incredible. Incredible time. I want to link everything down below as far as these swim bait heads, the swim baits. Check out the new colors. There's a few of them left in stock. Luckily, we, uh, we got nice and stocked up before this trip on these swim baits because it's been like the hottest bait I don't know, I'm gonna say in bass fishing the last couple weeks, they've, we've just been blowing through these guys and they're in awesome, awesome shad colors. And the great thing is they last. I went through one pack of baits in two days and maybe triple digit fish. I don't even know, I don't really know where to go from here um, after that trip, but I have a pretty good idea of some things to follow that up that um, I have some big news coming for you guys. And it's not just because you are sitting on the front deck of my brand new bass boat right now that I'm gonna show you in a couple of videos that is looking nice. As you guys can see back behind me, got about 40 fishing rods, all my fishing stuff's all laid out here. I gotta put it in the boat still, um, but 
exciting things coming and it's not just because of this boat this is just a small small part of it but thank you guys everyone that stuck around and watched this series i love you all and um subscribe if you want to see more of these big bass catching adventures because what's going to happen in the next one to two years on this channel is uh i don't think it's been done before so can't wait to show you guys i'm out of here peace